This video is how to stake Solana. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this step by step, which wallets to use, or if you're a beginner, maybe some other options which may be more suitable for you. Timestamps down below for everything. If you are a beginner and you have Sol, you just wanna stake it to earn some rewards, but you're not willing to create your own wallet and manage and custody your assets, then use the exchange that you bought Sol on. Most of them will allow you to actually stake it on the platforms. Now you have to be careful because some platforms may be lending out your assets and some may actually just be passing that through to stake on the blockchain. And also there may be lockups for this as well. So on Binance, you can go to the earn feature. Sol right here has a product where you can lock up for anywhere from 14 to 120 days and they'll give you some sort of APR all the way up to 8.9% on Binance right now. This may not be staking, so read the terms in what you're doing because you may be lending, which is different to staking and it has its own set of risks. On Coinbase, as you can see, they actually help you stake as well. So if you buy Solana right here, you can just click this, go to stake it. Again, there may be a lockup, but they pass the staking rewards back to you. The benefit of this is that you don't have to manage your own wallet. It's super easy. You get the staking rewards. The downside is that your assets are on a centralized exchange. And so you have to trust that the exchange isn't gonna do anything crazy or shut down or prevent you from having your assets or whatever. So there's pros and cons, but for beginners, this might be a good option. If you wanna take custody of your Solana and stake it yourself on the blockchain, then you're gonna need a crypto wallet. Phantom Wallet is really the main wallet for Solana. So I'll show you staking with Phantom Wallet. Now, if you have a different type of wallet, like Binance Web3 Wallet, OKX Web3 Wallet, if you have a hardware wallet like Ledger, or you have Trust Wallet or Coinbase Wallet as hot wallets, these are fine too, because they support the Solana blockchain. So it's easy and you can stake. Now there's a difference between these wallets and also Phantom Wallet, in that Phantom Wallet allows direct staking through validators, and you can place your stake with the validator and stake with them. Some of these wallets may not allow you to do that. However, there is an easy way to get the staking rewards in these wallets, which is known as a liquid staking token, which I will explain. So if you're just looking to use validators, Phantom Wallet is great. Trust Wallet allows you to do that as well. The others, we have to have a little workaround, but it's actually the more modern way of doing things and the better way of doing things. So in any case, you can use the wallet that you're using now. You don't have to have a Solana wallet specifically. In any case, if you don't have a wallet and you wanna set one up on Solana, I'll show you how to use Phantom and how to stake here, but then I'll also show you how to use a different wallet. So you can go to phantom.app, I'll link it down below, press download, come and download the app for your device. You can download it for a browser, you can also download it on your phone as well. So come and download and set this up. Now I'm not gonna go through the setup process in this video, it's too much, but there is a separate video linked down in the description which shows you exactly how to set up the wallet. Super simple, it will take two minutes. You can get your recovery phrase, get your wallet set up, and then once it's set up, we can then go and actually get Solana into the wallet and stake it. Once we have a wallet set up, if we have Phantom Wallet or one of the other wallets, we of course need to use the Solana blockchain, which means we need Sol to pay for gas. And of course, we also need Sol to stake. So however much you want to stake, you're gonna need the Sol token there, plus a little bit left over for gas. So for me, I've got the Phantom Wallet up here. So I'm just gonna press receive, and then I'm gonna say Solana, and this is my wallet address, so I'm just gonna copy that. Then I'm gonna to go to my exchange where I've bought the Sol, and I'm gonna withdraw it over the Solana network to my wallet address. If you have a different type of wallet, it's exactly the same. Get the receive address for Sol on the Solana network, and your receive address is your wallet address. So what I'm gonna do is paste in my wallet address. It has auto matched me to the Solana network. So I bought some Solana. I'm gonna withdraw this out to my wallet. Uh, so if you don't have an exchange yet or buy Solana, I'll leave links below to deposit and trading bonuses on the exchanges I use. You can check the details by the link below. Once you've got some Sol into your wallet to go ahead and stake, I'll show you how to do this on Phantom, but also a different wallet. It's the same process. So go into your account. You have the Sol tokens right here. So we're gonna click on that. And then from here, it says your stake. Now I've done this for this video, but if it doesn't say your stake here, it should say stake Solana if you haven't done already. So click this. And then from here, you can see I've got a stake here, but you should be blank if you've not done it before. So there should be a list of validators here. I'm just gonna press plus to show this list. From here, choose a validator to stake with. 
So you can choose the phantom validator if you want or different ones. You can see the estimated APY here, and this may change dependent on the uh, validator that you use as well. And they take different commissions. In any case, I'll just show phantom validator. So click this, and then you can choose how much stake that you actually want to put over, whatever the amount that you want is. And what we can do is press stake. You can see the estimated APY is almost 7% right now. Commission, they're taking 9% of the staking rewards. So whatever they make, they're taking 9% as a commission, passing the rest back to you uh, for running the validator and everything. So stake, that's it, and it's gonna start to stake for you. So once you have that there, that will be a blockchain transaction. So always keep a little bit of soul back in order to pay for transactions. For example, if you wanna unstake in the future or send tokens around in your wallet, you always need some soul to pay for gas. So never stake the entire amount because then you'll have to reload soul into the wallet in order to unstake and send the tokens out again. So that will just go ahead and stake for you. Press close right here. You should see this. So this is activating. So I'm actually staking soul with uh, Phantom Validator right now, and that's activating. That will take a little while. This one right here, is actually one that I have withdrawn. So once you stake, you may want to unstake. So what you can do is go back to the Solana token page and go to your stake here, click this. You'll see that there's two different accounts, right? So you can go and choose validators and stake with the ones that you want. But if you want to unstake, then you're gonna have to click on um, active stakes, right? So this one is inactive right now because I've withdrawn it. And so I'm actually waiting for that to be withdrawn. That may take a couple of days actually to be withdrawn. Uh, so just be aware of that. But we're gonna go to Phantom Validator here and it says unstake. So if you have staked, you've got uh, soul tokens in there that you're staking, press unstake right here. And that will actually go through to unstaking. So that's a transaction. You can see view transactions. So every one of these, I'm paying a small amount of gas in the sell token in order to use these transactions. Press close. You can now see that both of these are inactive because I'm not staking anymore. So I staked, I saw my stake, and then I unstaked it. Each one is a blockchain transaction. But once that has been unstaked, what happens is that that soul actually goes back into your balance and is then available to spend uh, on gas fees for other transactions. What we just did with Phantom Wallet is take our Solana and lock it up with a validator and staked it with them. That's absolutely fine, but we are locking our Solana with that validator. So when we're staking, we can't actually do anything with those sole tokens. We can lock it up with them, and if we want them back, we have to unstake and wait for the unstaking to happen. That's what happens on many proof of stake networks, which is totally fine, but maybe you want some liquidity for your token, right? So you want to stake, but you also want kind of instant access if you want to unstake or if you want to sell for dollars or something else, you want to send it back into an exchange, then you want to do things instantly and not have your tokens locked up. Well, that's where liquid staking tokens come in. So what this really does is it's a, a project, which is Gito, I'll show you here. And this works on Ethereum exactly the same way with many projects like Lido, Rocket Pool, where they go ahead and stake for you. But instead of locking up our stake with the validator, what we're doing is giving our coins over to a project. They are staking it through smart contracts and everything, and then giving us a token back, which represents our staked Solana and we accrue the staking rewards just as we would usually. However, we now have a separate token that is like a receipt token for the staked soul that we have. This token is liquid, meaning it's not locked up. So we can actually get this token, and if we have it in our wallet, it's the same as staked Solana, but we can buy and sell it, we can send it around to different wallets, we can liquidate it easily for something else, and so we don't have the lockup. So we get the benefits, but we don't have the lockup. Here's how it works. You take your soul, you put it with a project. Now, Gito is kind of the main one on Solana. This is like the Lido of Solana. So what they do is they take the soul, they stake it, and they pass the rewards back to us. They give us Gito soul, which is the staked soul, right? So it has the staking rewards. And because it's just a Solana token, we can have and own this token in pretty much any wallet that supports the Solana blockchain. So we don't have to choose a validator. We don't have to lock up our Solana. We can just get this token. And if the token's in our wallet, 
it's earning the staking rewards and we get the benefits of it being liquid. Instead of choosing a validator then and locking up our soul, what we can do is use the application Gito Soul to do exactly the same thing. So what we can do is connect our wallet. So I'm gonna connect wallet here in the top right hand corner and I connect my Phantom wallet. Now, if you have a different type of wallet, like Trust Wallet or something else, as long as it supports the Solana blockchain and you have some soul in there, you can connect it to an app like Gito, right? You can just essentially choose Wallet Connect or these options and you can connect your wallet. If it supports the Solana blockchain, you'll be able to do this. It's just using an application on the blockchain. So Wallet Connect, if you want to scan a QR code with your phone wallet, you can do that. And I'm going to connect my Phantom just to show you. So what we have to do is take our soul, put it with them, and they're gonna give us some back. So let's put an amount in. And for right here, what they're gonna do is swap it into Gito Cell. So we can press convert to Gito Cell like this, and then it's gonna go through the blockchain transaction. So I'm gonna to have to accept this and pay the gas fee. No problems there, press confirm. So what it's doing is swapping Sol into Gito Cell, which is this token that represents staked Sol, and it will accrue the staking rewards and as you can see right now, it's 7.49%. Now, Gito Cell is a reward bearing token. Think of it as a receipt of a big fund of Solana that's being staked. And of course, staked Solana accrues staking rewards and other types of rewards from the blockchain. So how are those rewards paid out to us? Well, they're paid out by essentially the Gito Cell token getting more expensive in relation to Solana because it is Solana plus staking rewards. So it should be worth one Solana and then every year plus like whatever the staking reward is. This is a reward token, so it's gonna get more expensive over time. You have the same amount of tokens in your wallet, but after a year, it's gonna get more expensive by how much um, the staking rewards were. This is different to a rebasing token, which actually you get more tokens over time to represent value. That's not what Gito is doing. Gito just gets more expensive over time. Now you can see that I've got Gito Soul in my Phantom wallet. This is a staked token. And so it's the value of Soul plus the staking rewards. And it's a separate token to Solana. Notice that it is a liquid token. So I can send this around to another wallet right now, or I can actually sell it as well. But if you want to unstake, then go over to the Gito protocol, press unstake here when your wallet is connected. You can see that it shows me I've got a balance of Gito Soul right here. And there's two ways to do this. I can either um, get out immediately via Jupiter. That's actually a decentralized exchange, which I'll show you in a second. Or you can wait two days to actually unstake it. So what we can do is press unstake cell here, and that will go through the blockchain transaction. You'll wait two days because they actually have to unstake it and then give you back the Solana plus all of your rewards. So if you want to unstake and wait a couple of days, you can unstake directly on Gito. Because Gito Sol and other liquid staking tokens are just simply tokens, they can be traded just like any other token. You can send it from your wallet to someone else's wallet, or you can just trade out of the token and into it as well. So you don't even need to use the staking platform itself. So I've got my wallet connected to Jupiter, which is a decentralized exchange on Solana. I am going to be actually selling a token in my wallet, which you can see is Gito Sol here. And then I'm gonna actually sell that back in to some Solana token. So I can put half right here. And what I'm doing is just selling the Gito Sol token, whatever value that may be, back into Solana. Now I can do this instantly. However, you're using an exchange here. So you're gonna be paying gas fees and also a trading fee on the exchange, right? So you're gonna to have to factor that in as to whether you want to do this or not, because there will be trading fees and other fees. So if I press swap, pending approval, go through and make sure that these tokens are actually approved on the exchange, right? So you can see here, these are the exchange that's gonna take place. I'm gonna swap Gito into Solana, press confirm, and that will swap the Gito sold back into Solana, or you can even swap it into USDC or another stable coin or anything like that. But you will have to pay trading fees. If you don't want to pay trading fees and you can wait, then press unstake, it's gonna be a lot cheaper, you won't pay a trading fee, and you'll get your soul tokens back into your wallet. I'll leave the other helpful Solana videos linked down in the description, exchange bonuses there as well. I'm James, this is my ZG, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.